no, no. Ugh. How am I supposed to get this all done before she gets back? It's impossible. It'd be easier if she'd just clear out some of this junk. Ah, you startled me. Who are you? And what's with that costume? You're a friend. Oh, of my mother's? No, I'm sorry. I don't remember you. My mom has a lot of friends. There's no way I'd remember all their names. I don't mean to be rude, but I'm kind of busy right now. My mom's not here. Is there something you need? No, I wasn't expecting you. <sighs> she always leaves it to me to handle guests when she's not home, but she never tells me when anyone's coming over. Oh, wait. It must be Halloween today. I forgot. If she's hosting a party, she didn't tell me. But it probably doesn't start until way later, though. I really need to get back to work. It'll be way worse if the house is messy when people are coming over. What's interesting? The cleaning? Huh? The first time you've done... What? Come over to the house? I'm sorry, but I can't really give you a tour right now. I have to finish cleaning. Because my mother told me to. She's having people over and told me to clean up before she gets back. I have to clean all the bedrooms and bathrooms, but they're so full of all her trinkets that it's taking forever. Every little thing has to be moved and dusted, and they're fragile, so I have to be careful with them. Even worse are the clocks. Every time I take them off the wall, they start ticking out of sync. It's maddening. And every time I finish one room, there's always one more to do. How many rooms are there? You can see for yourself. They're right down the hall. What do you mean, what hall? You came in that way, didn't you? It's right through the door. Wait, what? This is the main bathroom. But that shouldn't be... Wait, how is it dusty again? I just cleaned it. Ah, uh, now I'm never going to get it all done. You know, you could at least help me. Then I might have a fighting chance of getting it done on time. What? Yeah, I know it's impossible, but if you'd help me... What do you mean, you already are? Standing around isn't helping me. Ugh, never mind. I need to get back to work. Huh? Yeah, sure feels like my own personal hell. And you're making it worse. Wait. Hell... You! I know you! You're a demon! Yeah, I should have guessed from the horns. Why didn't I... But wait, I'm in... Hell? No, that wasn't... It was something else. That's right, our deal! I would experience my own personal hell as part of our deal. So, this is it? Well, it definitely feels like hell. Just endless rooms of trinkets to clean with an eternal deadline hanging over my head. I hope the ages I've spent here were worth it. Not that long. Wait, then how long have I been in here? Three hours? But I've been cleaning all day for what felt like weeks. It was never ending. Hell time? You could have mentioned that before. I wouldn't have agreed. Don't act like you know me. I sacrificed more than a few bits of meat to summon you. 
I know how demons work. You wouldn't have shown up unless I was truly desperate. Okay, maybe I shouldn't act like I know you either. But I would have agreed regardless. I might have cursed you out more, though. Besides, how did you know all this stuff about me to create this hell? It was me. What? The greatest personal hell is created by one's own mind? Man, that sucks. So, I came up with this? It was a lot like a bad dream, where I'm forgetful and easily swayed, not lucid. Would explain why your ugly mug didn't send me running screaming from the room. I think I've earned throwing out a petty insult or two. I know I agreed to it, but what do you get out of seeing me freaking out for a few hours? And why are you letting me out instead of just trapping me in my own personal hell forever? You just wanted to see what would happen. You're a demon, shouldn't you know? You've never done this before. Oh. Is this like... the demon version of starting your first job? More like first time drinking. Good to know my suffering was so entertaining. And satisfying. Okay, don't make fun of me. Whatever. I've held up my end of the bargain and let you witness my torment. Now you need to keep your word. I already told you what I want. A way out. Well then, what are you... Wait. Where are we now? Home. Who's home? Mine. But I've never seen this... house before? We're in a house, right? My house. I... own this? The paperwork. Oh, damn. I really do own this. But how? I know you're a demon, but you said that you're new to this, didn't you? How did you get me a whole house? This isn't a trick, is it? Causing suffering and pain gives you more magic power. I see. So, I gave you a boost. Making me freak out like that literally made you stronger. So that's why you did it. Ugh. Yeah, yeah, it's fun too. You really are a demon. But this house is incredible. And quiet. Not a ticking clock in sight. Well, I can't say I didn't doubt you'd keep your word, but this is a way better outcome than I could have possibly imagined. You left it up to a coin toss. Seriously? Okay, you're still a jerk. But at least now I can say, get out of my house. No, I do not want to make another deal. We both got what we bargained for, and that's good enough for me. Yeah, yeah. Now do me a favor, and go to hell. Who would have thought the audios that I base on my dreams are incoherent? <laughs> Thank you, Super K, for the coffee donation.